Now, so girl, can you see me? Girl, girl, let me tell you something. Did you see Black Ink Crew last night? We got a lot of shit to digest. But the one thing I'm not trying to digest is Teddy talking about letting somebody else wipe your ass. What kind of nasty New York nigga is he? I have never heard in a million years about somebody else, your significant other, wiping your ass. Now, if you in a coma, you in a vegetative state, or you was a baby, then go ahead, wipe, wipe, swipe, swipe. But bitch, I'm not wiping nobody's ass, and I damn sure don't want nobody wiping my ass. Now, bitch, you can eat it, okay? You can eat my ass. Baby, you can eat it, you can lick it, you can taste it. I'm talking every drip drop, don't you waste it. Baby, slurp it up, it's enough to fill my cup. His finger licking good And I wish a nigga would Go down kind of slow Or even fast I'll be sprung once I feel my tongue In the crack of my ass Since I need a nigga <laughs> Going out like that, baby <laughs> Just put it in your mouth Yes, y'all don't know about that, bitch I'd do that verse again if it wasn't so long <laughs> Moving right along Um <clears throat> What kind of gypsy hell is Miss, what was her name, Kathy? Miss Kathy, Miss Kathy with that Andre 3000 turban on. It's her name, yeah, her name was Kathy. I had to look down at my notes. Listen, Sky was right there trying to get her spirit cleansed and Kathy was trying to get her rent paid and some rooms to go money because that place was empty as hell. It was no furniture. Them two candles was finna burn up the little bit of shit that she had in there. Kathy didn't know what spirit she was cleansing, yet alone what demon she was conjuring with all that. Sky asked this bitch, what's this water for? She was unable to really articulate what any of that shit in there was for because VH1 called her and told her they'd give her $50 if she came down here, put on a liturgical skirt and an Andre 3000 bonnet and just sit here and play like she a damn shaman. You ain't no shaman. You ain't Iyan Levanzan. You don't know the voodoo that she do that she do so well but <laughs> then they just had sky ass sitting up in there with her going along with this bullshit i'm like black ink crew we know y'all put fake scenes and shit together all the time and we don't mind but this going on with kathy was just a little too much um donna having that ectopic pregnancy quiet as it's kept that baby dodged the bullet because Donna ass ain't had no business having no kids, no way. And bitch, is it me? Um, I'm the only one who's side-eyeing the fuck out of Donna age. Bitch, I thought Donna was every bit of 34 my age. Wasn't shit about the way Donna shape and the way she jiggle. Say she 25 years old. Quiet as it's kept, Donna don't flip her ass like my grandma say bottom uppers. She don't flip her ass bottom uppers at that damn uh, ski resort thing. Shaking it and dropping it and twerking it. And don't shook that baby up and that baby couldn't travel to where the fuck it needed to go. Now, ectopic pregnancy is not funny. And people losing half of their reproductive organs is not funny. But you have to look at Donna and be like, Lord, is was her pussy popping in a handstand part of the reason the baby couldn't uh, make it the way it needed to go nonetheless Donna your ass ain't need no baby either for your kids ended up like Sky um, Teddy in them shoes Teddy 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 y'all don't remember that Stephanie Mills said that on her Teddy uh, Pentagram's version of feel me I want to feel the fire Kim Burrell taught me that. Yes. Stephanie said, but Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. Woo, I didn't do good that second time. Nonetheless, Teddy got a whole nasty shoot. I'm going to tell you something, baby. A woman like me, bitch, I'm real fishy. I like a nasty pump or a nasty heel. But let me tell you something. Them days I'm feeling rough and stuff with my Afro puff, I might have to rock Teddy's shoes and they glow in the dark. Yes, God, for urge you instead of growing the dark. And I ain't trying to count nobody coins or their popularity. But shit, I'm with C's. Teddy, you got a sneaker deal before I did. I ain't know Teddy was big like that for somebody to sign up with him for a sneaker thing because he can push that much product. I ain't hating. I'm congratulating. I ain't buying them shit though because I'm a pump girl. Pussy in pumps. Yes. Pussy up in pumps. Yes. Nonetheless, free my nigga Ted brother. Um, Walt. 
Walk got a problem that concerns to a lady. Walk, when you went off on China, on, on China, when you went off on Tatiana in, in the, sat the tattoo parlor, everybody was looking at you like, what the entire fuck? Now, what you said had some validity. Like, yeah, bitch, you're sitting up here complaining that your parents want you to go to school and do something with your life. Uh, compared to somebody else that's really going through problems, yeah, Tati, you're not going through shit. However, that's independent of what Walt did and what Walt got going on. Walt didn't have no business stepping on that girl. It's not her fault that your life is jacked up and it's more jacked up than her trivial problems. That is not her fault. Contain yourself. You need to walk, you need to fuss and holler at whoever the fuck got you in this bind. Not that um listen. This girl don't already got beat up two or three times to the black ink crew. She don't need to add verbal assault to her damn manager and trainee report. Okay? Um I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was not impressed, I did not like, and I was bored by everything the fat Jewish. Um, he looked like a homeless ogre. I don't give a fuck that he's got 11.5 million viewers, and you can honestly tell he must got some sort of manager. They're trying to expand his brand and get him some TV roles. And so now you coming over here just doing this stupid dumb shit. Now don't get me wrong, it's not my brand of comedy. Like, I like more clever, you know, less in-your-face comedy. His style of comedy is that, like, buffoon, somebody fell down the stairs, laughing at people in wheelchairs that get hit by buses, that in-your-face simpleton comedy. Not knocking it just wasn't for me. Um, and that ugly-ass tattoo that C's put on his thigh, that shit was just dumb. I don't know, watching the fat Jewish on there was just awkward for me. I did not like it, coupled with the fact that it felt so forced and contrived. Um, something else that was equally as stupid was that damn white girl from the, from the mountains showing up telling C's, come fuck me in the bathroom in five minutes. Like, what kind of white girl whore shit is that? Okay, and she's sitting up there looking like she was dazed and confused, pumped up with every bit of heroin and marijuana she could find from Brooklyn to the Bronx. It just, I, I don't, like, people will do anything to be on TV. Like, Miss White Girl Lady. So are you home telling your friends, oh girl, turn into Black Ink Crew tomorrow, I'ma be on it, and then you on it doing this. I don't understand how you be proud of this acting job. Nonetheless, y'all leave her ass home because we not believing shit about this damn white girl. First of all, she don't look like she got no car or no bus fare, yet alone I was able to take a cab from the mountains to damn Caesar shop. I'm not here for it. Um, Walt and his breakdown. You know, they say a drunk mouth speaker sober mind. I was sad to see Walt going off the way he was and walking off and you can tell he's really going through something and I'm guessing Sky Spirit don't jump on Walt because now because you going through something you got the right to act out and push people and holler and scream and walk out on scenes and walk up and down the New York streets like a prostitute. Hey, prostitute. Hey, sister, soul sister, gotta get that dose that he met mama lot. I ain't even give y'all too much. Nonetheless, we see next week that it's something that to do with Walt kids or whatever, and I hope he turned out right, but Walt, you can't be going around getting drunk, throwing tantrums on people. And where the hell is Melody? Like, Melody must have signed up for the part-time package. Jada did too. They said, bitch, we ain't paying all these people to just sit up in all these episodes and do nothing. Some of y'all hoes, we don't need y'all services every time we film. Where is Melody? Anyone that's a girl, let me get in and watch a beauty bar and think and clean up and I'll call you back. Bye.